Looking to use Llama 2 on Google Cloud? Watch this video to learn more about how you can get started with deploying and tuning Llama 2 using Vertex AI. What is Llama 2? Recently, Meta developed and publicly released the Llama 2 family of large language models, a collection of pre-trained and fine-tuned generative text models. We're happy to announce that you can now deploy and fine-tune Llama 2 on Google Cloud. We're also happy to announce that Code Llama is also available on Vertex AI. Code Llama is a family of large language models for code based on Llama 2, providing state of the art performance among open models, infilling capabilities, support for large input contexts, and zero shot instruction following ability for programming tasks. Now, for the rest of this video, we'll just be focusing on Llama 2. So what can you do with Llama 2 on Google Cloud? You can click to deploy Llama 2 out of box and serve it as an API endpoint to your own end users. You can also fine tune Llama 2 directly on Google Cloud with your own data. Llama 2 in all of its parameter sizes and variations are also available to deploy and fine tune. And on Google Cloud, you can also improve Llama 2 with Reinforcement Learning with Human Feedback, or RLHF. And finally, you can check the safety attributes using content moderation on Google Cloud as well. At this point, you might be wondering, what exactly are all of the variations of Llama 2? And when should you use which one? When should you consider tuning Llama 2 as well? You might also ask, where can you find Llama 2 to begin using it? And of course, how can you deploy Llama 2 on Google Cloud to an endpoint so that you or your users can begin using it? And finally, how do you fine tune Llama 2 with your own data? Let's start with an overview of the key things you may need to know about Llama 2, such as the model sizes, variations, and when to consider tuning. Llama 2 currently comes in three sizes, 7 billion, 13 billion, and 70 billion, which correspond to the number of parameters that were used to train the model. In addition to the three sizes, there's also a choice between the regular version or the version fine-tuned for chat, called Llama 2 Chat, which was optimized uh, specifically for dialogue use cases. So you have essentially six variations to choose from, and you can deploy each as they are out of box, or tune any of these variations on Google Cloud. You might be wondering, what size of model should I start using, 7, 13, or 70? Well, if you're just starting out, you might want to consider starting with the 13 billion model. Why? If you find that the quality of the responses are not quite good enough, then you can always change to the 70 billion model. If you find that with the 13 billion model, the latency is too slow, and the response quality isn't a major concern, then you can go down from the 13 billion to the 7 billion. So you might also wonder when to consider tuning Llama 2. Generally speaking, you want to tune a model to improve its performance on some desired tasks or learn some desired behavior. Tuning a model can help make it more robust and consistent because it will have learned from examples of inputs and outputs that you've tuned it with like tuning the model to respond colloquially to have a friendly sounding chatbot. I'll show you towards the end how to access some sample code to help you tune models with your own data and even use RLHF with Llama 2. Okay, let's say you're now ready to start using Llama 2 on Google Cloud. How do you begin? Before we show you how to get started directly on Google Cloud, let's explore Kaggle models a hub of thousands of openly available ML models with a large community that is invested in stress testing these models and enriching them with code samples. They have a seamless integration with Vertex AI, making Kaggle a great place to start. From the Kaggle models page, you can discover Llama 2 by searching or browsing the available models, such as using the search bar uh, to search for Llama 2 or filter by publisher for Meta AI. Once on the model detail page for Llama 2, you can read through the model card and find all the variations available for download, or you can create a Kaggle notebook with the model. Kaggle has a community of almost 15 million users practicing data science and machine learning. 
These users enrich the content on Kaggle through interactions such as building and sharing notebooks, engaging in discussions related to the model, or putting it to the test in a Kaggle competition. So this means you can find a rich repository of code examples for a variety of use cases validated by a community of ML experts. From the Llama 2 model detail page on Kaggle, you can click the Open in Vertex AI button to navigate to the Llama 2 model page in the Vertex AI model garden. On Google Cloud, navigate to Vertex AI model garden and look for the Llama 2 card. Click on the card to view details. As you can see on the model card, there is a click to deploy button, which allows you to save Llama 2 to Vertex AI model registry and deploy it to an endpoint that you or your users can send your prompts to. So let's walk through that process of deploying Llama 2 on Google Cloud. From the Llama 2 model card on Vertex AI model garden, you can either deploy the model in the console using the deploy button here, or deploy the model through code using the notebook. Let's start with deploying from the console by clicking on deploy. First, you'll need to choose which Llama 2 variation you want. Save it as a new model, give it a custom name if you'd like, then click save to save to Vertex AI model registry. Navigating to Vertex AI model registry, you should now see your model but note that it hasn't been deployed to an endpoint yet. To deploy the model, you can click on the three dots on the right hand side, and then click on deploy to endpoint and follow the instructions within to deploy with GPU accelerators. Depending on the size of your model, you may need to use smaller or larger GPUs. Deployment may take some time, but once complete, your model will be available on the endpoints page. And now you can make a sample request to the endpoint with Llama 2 to get a response, such as using a curl request. Now, if you'd prefer to work in a coding environment instead of the UI, you can also walk through the deployment of Llama 2 in the Colab notebook, which you can find by clicking on Open Notebook from the Llama 2 model card on Vertex AI Model Garden. The notebook is also where you will find the instructions on how to perform adapter tuning with Llama 2, instructions for RLHF, and also content moderation to check for safety attributes in the model responses. So with that, I hope you enjoy using Llama 2 on Google Cloud. For more information, check out the links below.